Well, as we age, certain body parts just don't do what they used to do when we were younger. We feel fat, we feel bloated, just plain out of whack. And diet and exercise, unfortunately, by themselves, just really aren't cutting it anymore. Yep, our bodies are betraying us, but it doesn't have to be this way. Celebrity and best-selling author Suzanne Summers learned this from personal experience. She's got some really great tips on staying sexy forever. That's the name of her new book. Suzanne returns to the Balancing Act, joining us live once again this morning from New York City with more. Hey, Suzanne, good morning to you. Good morning. Who doesn't want to be sexy forever? I mean, really. Listen, I'm with you, my dear. <laughs> but you are sexy forever. I mean, you really, honestly, don't look a day over 30. You look amazing. What is your secret? Well, I, I do walk my talk. And everything that I write about is because it's something that I do or have researched heavily and then do. So the most asked question on the Internet is how do I lose fat after 40? And I get a lot of women writing to me on Facebook and my website saying I'm 40 and I don't eat. I eat salads all the time. I'm getting fatter and fatter and I exercise and it doesn't seem to work because they don't understand this essential component. We're under the greatest environmental assault in the history of mankind. So toxins are everywhere. 80,000 different toxins that we are exposed to on a regular basis. 200 just doing our morning ritual. Tooling in our mattresses. Our mattresses are covered with fire retardant by law, so we're breathing that in all night. We eat food that is not organic. We put cosmetics on it that have parabens mm -hmm. and chemicals. We clean our house with chemicals. So. People say, well, but it's everywhere, you know, and I don't want to overwhelm people, but I have solutions for it. You know, so, it, you know the thing I was going to say, it's really interesting that you say that because a lot of us don't know what it is that's calling a, causing us to hang on to all these toxins and all this, right. you know, the bloating and all of these things that we feel, but especially for women after 40 because it does seem like, Suzanne, we have to work a little harder to maintain what used to right. come naturally or at least a little easier to do. Why is it? Why is this? Why is it so difficult if you're dieting, if you're exercising, if you think you're doing all the right things? Because you've been alive long enough now to have a toxic burden. Mm in your body, plus you are declining in hormones, plus your gut is a mess from all the antibiotics in the, in the food. Do you know what, when you eat food, meat, let's take meat, okay. and why I am a proponent of grass-fed beef, and we need to demand it because we're feeding our cows corn, not only corn, but genetically modified corn. We eat, we feed this to our cows, then we eat the cows and really what they ate, plus they pump them full of antibiotics because corn is not natural to their evolution, so they get infections like E. coli. So we're taking in the hormones, we're taking in the antibiotics. The antibiotics eat up the happy bacteria in the gut. So all that's left is the bad stuff. That bad stuff likes to feed on the yeast that lines the lining of your gut, and eventually it eats through the lining and creates little holes, causes something called leaky gut, causing autoimmune diseases. You hear about women all the time who have lupus, who have fibromyalgia, who have MS. It didn't used to be like this. It's too much of this going on. Do you know how it got that way? There, there used to be 80 different strains of wheat, and so the gluten content was negligible. We're messing with our food. We have now engineered our wheat down to five different strains, so the gluten content is off the charts in each one of these. So you have even the slightest sensitivity, you're going to really react to, to gluten and wheat. And as sure telltale signs, you look in the mirror and you've got a slightly puffy face or a real puffy face. If you're like hard and puffy through the middle, that's gluten. If your whole body is starting to get a fuller look, bigger arms, bigger breasts, right, yeah. it, it, that's all, that's gluten. You know when what, I, it, it, it sounds like for a lot of our viewers out there, and they can probably relate to this, it sounds like we're making mistakes that we're not even aware Right, of. it's innocent. It's totally innocent. Think about your mom. Uh, like my mom, she used to clean the house with lemon and water and vinegar and water, and she would polish with mineral oil. Mm -hmm. She would wash our clothes in ivory soap. Um, there was no organic food because they hadn't even, no one dreamed of spraying poison onto our food. And I always say, if you went to the supermarket, and instead of it saying organic food, if it said poison food and non-poisonous food, I mean, it's a no-brainer what you would, what you would buy. And I know a lot of people can't afford organic food, so I, I did a list in this book of the least sprayed foods, the most sprayed foods, and how you can soak them and in what you can soak them so that uh, you can remove the toxins except for two foods, grapes and apples. If you can't afford organic, 
I really don't think you should eat them because they spray really? them. They spray them with cryolite, and that goes right through the skin into the fruit. You can't get it out. So that's where you should spend your money on. Um, Organic, because you know, it's interesting. Are, it's interesting you say that. My kids love grapes. They love apples, and it's a fr they're fruits that I know that I can get them to eat. But I think it goes back to what you talk about in the book. You encourage a new consciousness, right, about correct. lifelong health correct. to help keep us healthy. Tell me a little bit more about that. Explain what you mean. Cancer right now is the biggest killer in the world. This year, the President's Panel on Cancer wrote a 240-page re uh, report by. Uh, conservative doctors and scientists. I read the whole thing. I was so excited that this was going to get out. No one ever mentioned it. It's conclusively stated we're getting cancer from the toxins. So to protect your children's health, take them off toxins. To protect your health and to stay thin, uh, eliminate toxins as best you can. Ch choose organic food if you can. If not, soak it. Um, choose um, to wash your fruits and vegetables really well because they've got aflatoxins on them which lead to liver cancer there's so so much we've got to do it. it's more work now to be alive you got to really protect yourself there are solutions I've done it you can clean out your house you can do it little by little every little bit you do every change you make moves you towards getting thin moves you towards getting healthy and then I make great food I was going to be a chef so the food in my book is uh, frankly, fantastic. I, listen, I, I saw the recipes. <laughs> yeah, they look amazing. Suzanne Summers, always a delight to have you with us here on the show. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Danielle. So great. All right. Good to see you again. And to find out more about Suzanne's plan and her latest book, please go to her website. It's sexyforeverplan.com.